Hey, how the heck are you doing? I'm so excited to help you update your unemployment rates. So I went to process payroll today for, for next week and I'm like, oh, we need to update our unemployment rates. So I thought I, why not show you what I'm going to be doing and how to do it. Um, are you getting ready today or in the next couple days to be processing your payroll? If you're in a state like California where your rates change every single year for unemployment per employer, you need to manually adjust your tax rates. So you usually get something like this in the mail from ADD, which you've probably seen, um, and it has your rates for the year on it. So what I want you to do is go in and update those. What I noticed when I went to do it on QuickBooks Online for my own file, it's changed. And that is also what inspired this video because I've taught this before, yet it's changed. And so I want to go through and take you step by step. I will show you both desktop and online. So let's get started. Are you ready? So if you're here, let me know you're catching it live. Say hi. If you're not an employer, it's just a good idea to know this. Um, you can change it later and QuickBooks will kind of catch you up. It's great though if you can do it before you get started. That way you don't have any anything you got to fix later. All right, so I am going to share my QuickBooks desktop and then we will go to QuickBooks online. So here inside desktop, you are going to see if you go here to list and then let me move one thing real quick. Go to list payroll items list. You're going to go over to your state unemployment. Now, I don't know all states, but I can guarantee that if you're in California, every employer has your own rate. It has to do with um, how much you've paid in, how much unemployment was used, what, where the funds are at, all of that kind of stuff. So everybody's different. If you do your payroll update, it will update all your other taxes for the new year, but it does not update unemployment or ETT training tax, which is right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your unemployment. So you go list payroll items, double click on it. Then you're going to go to next. This is how it's all set up. Basically, this is my sample file. And then you're going to change your rate right here. So you're going to be looking to see what is your rate on your form. Okay. So depending on what your rate is on your form, you're going to change it. So I believe on this, it said 2.2. I'll, I'll switch it later, but whatever yours is, you're going to change it. Now you have to change it for all quarters. If for some reason your rate changes mid year, they'll let you know, but usually it's for the full year. So you're going to put in your new rates and then you're going to click next. And you're going to get this little reminder, which says, um, you are changing your rates for the current quarter. If you have already paid employees for the quarter, which is something I've mentioned before, QuickBooks will attempt to catch up your paychecks. Um, remember this tax is calculated by the year to date taxable income because you only have to pay it up to the first 7,000. Um, so it tells you all of that on there. So you're going to go ahead and click change. Okay. And then click next. Don't mess with any of this. Click next and finish. Okay. So that's how you're going to do it. If you are on the desktop version. Okay. Let's go. Let me open up the online version. Make sure I'm all good to go. Okay. So for the online, they've recently moved it. If you've watched one of my videos before on how to do it, this is new and updated. You're going to go to the settings wheel, online users, payroll settings. You're going to go to your state tax. Let me move something here. State tax. Click on the little pencil. Your rates will come up. You're going to click change. You're going to find your unemployment rate and click change rate. And then you're going to put in your new rate here and the effective date. You'll see I do it the first of every year and you're going to click OK. It's going to give you the same um, effectively date you entered X paychecks you've created contact support for this. Oh, I started to process my payroll and now it's going to give me a hard time. That is exactly why I came on to show you like what do you need to do to make that work? Um, just because I knew that it was going to be a little bit of an issue for you. So, um, the benefits of QuickBooks online, they make you call them back and talk to them, which is always a great thing. Um, I'll go in what you probably need to do. If you have the same scenario 
is, well, do it before you process your payroll or finish processing your payroll, then update it. Um, ours is in getting ready to be processed. So I was like starting it and then I was like, ooh, I should show you how to update this. So I'll contact support and they'll have to probably have them cancel it and then start again. Um, if you do this first, which is what my tip is, then you'll be good. The one thing I do want to say is when you are taking care of this form, so let's pull the form back up. I want to give you one other tip. When you're looking at your form, you also want to look at your ETT employer training tax and see if you have training tax or not. Usually once your unemployment rate gets high enough, you no longer have to worry about the ETT. That's just when you have a lower unemployment rate, you have it. So if that's new, make sure that when you come in here, let me share my screen again, that when you come in here, that you are here, change rate. And if you need to change it, you would, you can make the rate zero or you can change it to your rate. And if you're a desktop user, you are going to go here, open up your QuickBooks and you'll do it in here as well. So you will come down to your ETT training tax, double click on it, go to next, next. And if your rate is now zero, change it to zero. So you need to check both rates at the beginning of every year. If for some reason, let me log in real quick. I think I have it here. And you don't in your employee, California employer, and you don't know your rates and you, for some reason, um, can't find that piece of paper. You can actually log in to your EBD. I'll share this with you. Employer tax training screen. You're going to click here. Um, and then you're going to go down to get your UI rates. And then it'll tell you what your current UI is. See, 2.2 for us. Uh, it, it's gone down because we haven't had really unemployment stuff that we've had to worry about. So you can check your rates there for some reason. You don't have it. If you're in California, if you're in another state, can't speak to that just because that's not my, um, my strength. I don't know other states, but I'm sure that you will be able to figure it out within your own. All right, let me know if you were able to see this live. We are gonna be getting ready, uh, comment and let me know if this helped you, if you're gonna update it, did you check to make sure if you knew, do need to update yours. All the other taxes, um, as long as you're doing the updates with if you're processing your payroll through QuickBooks, then you will automatically get these. So let me know if you're here live, if this helped you. And we are gonna be doing workshops coming up again in the next couple weeks. I was gonna say in January, but we're in January today. so um mid january so if you go to kanscamper.com forward slash let me see if i happen to have it here oh no that's a different one um kanscamper.com forward slash training and i'll put a link down below later you can get on the waiting list to be notified to make sure you are front of line for workshops i hope you have a fantastic day happy new year don't forget to do this because now i gotta go in and, and fix it with the quickbooks online uh, desktop is a little bit, a little gentler on uh, adjustments, which we all know. I will see you soon. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Toodaloo.